Back to our COVID-19 coverage right now. We're hearing so much about the shortage of ventilators in our country. Engineers at Vanderbilt are working on an alternative. News 4's Ryan Breslin shows us how it will work. Without a ventilator, a medical professional needs to pump air by hand into a patient to help them breathe. This is the machine they are hoping to replace that with if ventilators run out. We just started working on this less than a week ago and we've gone from nothing to a fully functional device in that short of a time. Take a look at this. What just seems to be pieces of plywood screwed together, pool noodles, a windshield wiper motor, and some duct tape might end up saving a life. I'm trying to think of, well, what do I have available in my garage? Things that people would have uh, access to. So a table saw, drawer glides, and thinking what else would somebody have access to? Something like a windshield wiper motor. Engineers at Vanderbilt have only been working on this since Saturday, but this is the third prototype. With this current design, uh, this one gives the doctors a lot more control over uh, how much volume of air they're going to push into the patient. If a hospital is without ventilators, they'll typically have medical students stand and pump for the patients who might be on it for five days in a row. But these guys say that's not a job they want people doing in an emergency setting. We're fortunately nowhere near that in Nashville right now. But with the nature of this disease, you don't know when that might happen. And it might happen, you know, a week or two from now. And we want to be ready when that time comes. So what's next here? They tell me that they will perfect this third prototype and then they'll show it to the doctors for approval. They say then they'll start making more of them. They're hoping to make about 100. And they say that each one of them will cost just less than $100 to make. After that, they'll put the CAD drawings online, make it available everywhere. In Nashville, Ryan Breslin, News 4.